NEI is celebrating its 60th anniversary since the formation of the Atomic Industrial Forum. Uh, what we'd like to do is share with you really the storied history of this organization and its predecessors and of the nuclear industry itself and give you a preview of what we see as the bright future for nuclear technology and for the Nuclear Energy Institute itself. When I got involved with nuclear energy, it was a very different world from today. It was going to change the world, make the deserts bloom, provide this source of cheap power, too cheap to meter, some even said. This was the Kennedy and Johnson years, and this, this optimism was, was wonderful for a decade or so. We had the best of everything in nuclear construction in those days. Uh, the best people, the, uh, the, the best uh, specifications, uh, the best designs. The United Association of Plumbers and Pipefitters was one of the original members back in 1953 when it was the Atomic Industrial Forum. The benefits were mutual benefits right out of the gate and this has been a great source of employment for our members. The nuclear industry experienced incredible growth in the 1960s and 70s. But then, on March 28, 1979, Three Mile Island in Middletown, Pennsylvania experienced a partial core meltdown. When that accident took place, there was a massive program in the industry to learn what had happened and to make sure that those things could never happen again. When I first started in the industry, there was great excitement about the expansion of nuclear energy. And even though that expansion has slowed, there's still a passion for nuclear industry, both from the people that work here at NEI and I think from the public at large. What do we want? Nuclear power! When do we want it? Now! Another 50 reactors came online in the 1980s and 90s, but it was clear that the licensing process for new reactors required updating those moments in time that stand out from the Nuclear Energy Institute, I really think of the Energy Policy Act of 1992 and the significant changes that that brought uh, to the way that we design and build and license nuclear power plants in this country. In 1994, the Nuclear Energy Institute was formed and the organization guided the industry through many important milestones. We brought the industry together with our regulator, with our other government agencies, as well as give us a unified messaging on um, communications and policy. It's not like traditional trade associations. This is much more of a, um, a symbiotic relationship that everyone shares. Benchmarking best practices in the United States and abroad significantly enhanced industry-wide operations. Reliability and efficiency gains resulted in additional electricity production equal to 28 new reactors. Calvert Cliffs was the first plant to get license renewal. We knew that we were making a uh, statement for the whole industry. It allowed us to set the right template, and so now license renewal is much more straightforward. The enactment of the Yucca Mountain legislation that paved the way for Congress to approve Yucca Mountain as the repository site and to begin the licensing process. A multi-year program that the industry ran, not only here in Washington, but across the states. NEI members shared broad benefits of working with the Nuclear Energy Institute. NEI membership is a really great way to connect with many plants. We can speak with one voice to the regulators, to our stakeholders. I value our participation in the different forums that we're a part of at NEI. It's, it's great for um, our employees and for our knowledge base. In response to the events of Fukushima, Japan in March 2011, there was a real need for the industry to get facts into the discussion and NEI uh, coordinating with the industry just did an absolutely superb job in doing that. And it builds a high credibility for the organization and for the industry. The industry was talking a lot about new builds, talking about license applications, um, and now I've seen the process move forward and we're actually building. We're in the process of uh, building uh, two new reactors, uh, AP-1000 technology. NEI has helped us tremendously providing guidance documents to develop the framework for our license, uh, framework for managing construction, meeting expectations that the NRC has. It's so important for us to be accountable to our stakeholders. NEI is many things to many people. Leaders 
dynamic. Credible. Opportunity. Integrity. Trusted. Team. Dedicated. Useful. Potential. Innovative. Results. Never in any other place in my 30 plus years in the industry do I see a collection of diverse talent concentrated in one particular organization truly dedicated to the future of the industry and to the technology in general. Our assets are our people. Retaining the knowledge and expertise that we currently have here and building that into the next generation of NEI. In the future, with the work that NEI does, people will know how big of a role nuclear energy plays into their everyday lives. What lies ahead for NEI's bright future? I see the nuclear energy industry continuing to strive for efficiency and continuous improvement. We are always looking ahead because we have to provide the leadership that the industry calls for. We have a vision, a commitment, really a belief in the future and in the importance of what we're doing through time and it makes it a very special place. <laughs>